And thanks, now Ed. Thursdays, it's always a time that we, we always bring someone in from the medical community to talk about things that will help make you a little healthier. This time of year, we have uh, Carrie Gruno, a uh, registered dietitian. She works at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, talking about ways that we can stay a little bit healthy during the holiday season. I know once it gets to be Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. the overindulgence begins. Yes. What are some of the things that you see most people do this time of year that their habits start to go a little south? Yep, many, many times this time of the year, um, people will often skip meals before they go out to their holiday parties. So they try to save up all of their calories okay. and then overindulge once they get to that party. So certainly eating a healthy snack before you get to the party will help prevent you from overeating once you get there. As far as um, the kind of cheating the calories, mm -hmm. can, uh, I never even would have thought to do this. So if you <laughs> skip breakfast, you skip lunch, you're just mm -hmm. kind of waiting for the end of the day. Yeah. That is still, that's not a way to do this to where you can think, all right, well, now I can eat a little bit poorly later. Right, right. You certainly want to have a nice, healthy snack before you get there. So something like vegetables and hummus, some fresh fruit, a handful of nuts will all be great snacks to have before you arrive to any holiday party. I know lots of us during this time of year, you're running here, running there. You know, time seems to just tick away mm -hmm. a lot faster. Well, we're on the go. What are some of the things, some of the ways that we can also stay a little bit better as opposed to going through that drive through and maybe shamming a, a cheeseburger down your throat doing <laughs> something like that? Yeah, certainly always be prepared. So be prepared for any, any time that you might be stuck in traffic or um, traveling anywhere. So have snacks that you can keep in hand. So a 100 calorie pack of almonds or a nice protein bar. Um, are great snacks to have on hand, so it prevents you from overeating once you get anywhere. Run across people this time of year, or maybe not even this time, just stress alone, mm -hmm. where people become, I don't know if it's even a term, like a stress eater, mm -hmm. where just because they're a little bit more amped up, that, that things tend to, it, it's almost like a calming sensation. It is, yes. A lot of people will um, use food as their comfort, and um, unfortunately, eating too much food will, of course, lead to weight gain. So. So that's something that um, often this time of the year, I think sometimes we set our goals too strong by trying to lose weight instead of just maintaining our weight. And that's where I was going to go towards the end here. So we mm -hmm. get through Thanksgiving, we get through Christmas, mm -hmm. there's always the New Year's resolution. Yes. So for people who may pack on a few pounds during mm -hmm. the holidays, is there a reason to just go into despair? I mean, th there, there is the saving grace that once the holidays get by. Yes, once the holidays get by, then I would certainly say meet with a registered dietitian and then create an individualized nutrition plan to set your weight loss goals for success. But until then, just get through the holidays, try to focus on weight maintenance, and then, um, and then set your goals stronger after the new year. Yeah, I, th I think everyone would agree that th there, there's enough to worry about right now. That's you don't right. have to worry about what you're, mm -hmm. what you're putting down your throat. And I always say, again, if you have any kind of medical question, you don't want to ask me. <laughs> She's the registered one. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just the guy that sits at a desk. We're back after this. <laughs>